a big win, Mitch, uh, for liberals and Democrats in Wisconsin. It was one of the most expensive state Supreme Court races in U.S. history. Janet Protasiewicz and Dan Kelly battling to replace an outgoing conservative justice with a liberal Protasiewicz, because we had to say her name twice, winning by nearly an 11-point margin. Our Kelly Beeson is live in Madison, Wisconsin this morning. Kelly, I know this election is going to change the dynamics uh, of the court in a major way. Yeah, it certainly is, Adrian, and you said it. It's historic, um, and it marks the first time in 15 years that this court will now have a liberal majority. This is going to have implications not only for the state of Wisconsin, but also the nation. It was the most expensive judicial race in U.S. history, topping $42 million in spending. This goes into the category of gobsmackingly amazing. The results likely determining the fate of redistricting and voting rights for the state, but arguably the biggest ticket item driving voters to the polls. Abortion issues. Abortion is currently illegal in the state of Wisconsin and it's, you know, a felony that's just really absolutely ridiculous. With the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe versus Wade, all these fights that have been fought nationally for years um, are now fought at the local and state level. So suddenly, um, these state judges matter much more than they ever have. It was a central issue of Janet Protasiewicz's campaign. I believe in a woman's freedom to make her own decision on abortion. It's time for a change. Protasiewicz asserted her Republican-backed opponent, Dan Kelly, would support a near-abortion ban in the state. While Kelly's expressed opposition to abortion in the past, he did not verbalize his views during the campaign. If you think as a candidate that you should be virtue signaling to attract the votes of a certain body of, uh, uh, of Wisconsinites, what you're telling them is that you are not uh, you are not committed to the constitutional order. The results of the election have nationwide implications. Over the past quarter century, four Wisconsin presidential elections have been decided by less than a percentage point. And as we saw in 2020, close elections in swing states can wind up in front of state Supreme Courts, determining who controls the White House. And Protasiewicz will take office this August. She'll be serving a 10-year term. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.